Up next on Line TV, we have a line of the week with Dan Rogers and Addie Henna with the trending topics. And me, Dakota Marshy, to bring you your local and national sports updates and some updates on the NBA playoffs. All that and more, Line TV starts now. Cersei, it's Friday. I'm Minnie Davis. And I'm Kenny Kesharina. Let's get right into some announcements. Tomorrow's prom. Ladies, grab your shoes and men grab your ties because prom starts at 7.30 and ends at midnight. Hey Whitney, are you going to prom? Yes. What color is your dress? It's black and gold and it has like a necktie around it, so I'm excited. Awesome. Where are those announcements? Any senior graduating this year who is currently in French honorary needs to come by and see Miss McCready's room before graduation regarding French honorary courts. 2019 SHS graduation DVD pre-orders. Pick up your DVD order form in either office. Each DVD is $20 and the money must be turned in with your order. Please have exact change or check will be accepted. Students interested in joining the 2019 and 2020 yearbook staff may Pick up an application in Ms. Hollyfield in room 538-539. Applications are due Friday, May 3rd. Colleges and universities will require an eight semester transcript for admission purposes. You must complete an eight semester transcript re request form found in East or West offices. Tryouts for the 2019 varsity tennis team will begin on May 14th and May 15th at four o'clock at the SHS courts. You may have a camp physical in order to try out. No exceptions. Returning players must try out. Let's take a look at Mason Tony's insight on the school's plans for next year. Next year we will have many changes coming to the school, so I got with Mr. Hodges to find out exactly what changes will be happening. We're working on some classes that will offer students a chance to get more certifications as they can add um, to what we're going, we call a student success plan. Uh, next year all students will be on what's called a student success plan and, and what that is is uh, You'll be able to upload all of your certifications you get, your grades, your ACT scores, um, and it's building you kind of a resume that you can use when you go to college or you go out into the workplace and get a job. So that's a, that's a big push is to, to try to get a lot, a lot more certifications. Uh, we do that, we're going to do that in different classes. I know Ms. Mosley uh, is big into that, and I know we do that in our, some of our other classes. Um, but I got some ideas for some classes that we could give that would be more into the trades uh, where kids that work in the trade fields like carpentry and welding where they could get some different certifications. Um, we want to increase our computer science. Uh, our computer science, we're going to have to start building that into a bigger program. Um, on April 29th at 10 o'clock, we'll have uh, Governor Asa Hutchinson will be here. Um, I know the students know that by now. And uh, he's, he's coming to stop at Searcy for the coding tour. And so we're gonna have a presentation at the, at the Performing Arts Center for that. And um, one of the things we're looking at is increasing the amount of coding that we do in different classes. Uh, one, one, for instance, uh, big change that we'll make is we're gonna add VEX Robotics to our physics class, and I know that uh, Mr. Mr. Clinton is big into uh, the VEX robotics, and he wants to get that going in his physics class, and that's a, that's a lot of coding. And then we're looking at uh, different classes that students would be interested in. Um, if if kids, if the students remember, uh, we did a survey. Uh, we've done it twice, but we've we've done some surveys on computer science, and we're trying to get. Uh, what kids are interested in. To help score better on school report cards, students need to be better prepared for the ACT Aspire and ACT next school year. I want students to understand that uh, as a school, uh, we get a report card just like uh, students get a report card. And the report card that comes out every year, we, we were a B this year, 
Uh, I just got the information and would come out as a B, which is a good, it's a, it's a good rating. I'd love to be an A. I don't want to be a C. Um, but the ways that we can improve our report card are focusing a little bit uh, more on our ACT Aspire. Our, our scores here uh, seem to dip a little bit from junior high. Um, and there's really not a reason for that. Uh, I just think that by the time students get to the ninth and 10th grade and they've taken the same test again, I think everyone gets tired of it. Um, I know that uh, it, gets, it gets old after a while, but that is how they, one of the ways that they give us our school report card. There's many, many other facets to that. Um, you know, student attendance, that's a big part of it. Although we have many changes coming next school year, one thing that will remain the same is our school security. Everyone that's involved with the school feels like we're very, very safe. It's a very safe environment. Um, not only do we have a school resource officer, we also have a state trooper who's on campus. I uh, don't know any other school that actually has that. Uh, we're fenced in. Uh, we, we, uh, we take every measure we can. Um, you know, they have to go through two different sets of doors to get in. Um, Security wise, you know, honestly, um, there's, there's not a lot of changes towards security. Uh, our best security is, is good students. I mean, honestly, and, and when we have an issue come up, it's because students let us know what's going on. And even with all of that security in place, the, the bottom line is we have students that come and talk to us. And we want to keep that line of communication open between the administration and the kids counselors and the students and because that's really how we find out what's going on. As you can see the changes for next school year range from drones to better school report card scores to having better communication between students and administrators. Back to the news desk. Thanks Mason. When we come back after this commercial break Josh will have your latest weather updates. Graduation is an exciting time and marks both an ending and a beginning. It's for memories of the past and big dreams for the future. Class of 2019, are you ready to march across the field, listen to their choir perform, hear the two brightest students in your class give their speeches? We did. And finally, the moment you've been waiting for, to hear Mr. Hodges call your name and walk across the stage to receive your diploma. You are dismissed. And then of course, the celebration after. All the hugs, tears, and laughter, and parents that are so proud of their children's accomplishments. Cherish these moments forever. Sign up in either office to pre-order your 2019 Cersei High School graduation DVD. Dear Future Willie, By the time you read this, you'll be in high school. When you're in high school, you'll get to go to all the football games, go to prom with all your friends, and be in cool classes like Lion TV. The Searcy School District is currently educating over 4,000 students to become respectful, responsible, caring citizens. Show your pride. Be a lion. Let's send it over to Josh Newhouse with weather. Good morning, Searcy High School. I'm Josh Newhouse. It's been a while. Let's see what our weather looks like for today. Today we will have sunny skies with the high of 77, rain 0% chance, winds going north-northwest at 9 miles per hour. Humidity is going to be at 46% and your sun rose at 621. Now on to tonight. Tonight we will have mostly clear skies with a 51 as your low and 10% chance of rain. Winds going south-southeast at 4 miles per hour. Humidity at 76% and your sun set at 748 p.m. Now on to the Almanac. Average temperatures for this month, a high of 75 and a low of 51. Your monthly average of precipitation is 4.96 inches and month to date is 6.98 inches. Now on to the five cast. Saturday you will have partly cloudy skies with a high of 77, a low of 54 and a 10% chance of rain. Sunday you will have cloudy skies, 73 is your high and 56 is your low with a 20% chance of rain. Monday we will have cloudy skies, 82 is your high, 62 is your low. And Tuesday, we will have cloudy skies, 81 is your high, 66 is your low, and a 20% chance of rain. Wednesday, you will have scattered thunderstorms with 82 is your high, 66 is your low, and 40% chance of rain. Looks like it's going to be a really cloudy week. Yes, and I hope it does not rain all week. Now, I'm really looking forward to graduation, though. Me too. Let's see what we're having for lunch. Garlic cheese, French bread pizza, beef bean, cheese burrito, green salad, seasoned whole kernel corn, frozen juice cup, grapes, and milk. 
Be sure and thank our wonderful cafeteria ladies for the hard work they put into making our meals for us every day. Let's throw things over to Danielle for the line of the week. What's up, sister? High school, she girl Dan. I'm back with another line of week. You very own Tanner Thomas. What's up, Tanner? What's up, Danielle? Yeah, fly away. <laughs> All right, what is Partners Club? Partners Club is a group of students that uh, help special athletes uh, compete in the Special Olympic events. All right. How long have you been in there? I've been in there for two years. Two years? Okay. Uh, what are things y'all doing there? Well, we <clears throat> we go and compete with the athletes. We'll be partners with them in uh, athletic events, or we'll go and we'll support them, hold up signs and stuff like that. All right. How can you join this club? You can talk to Miss Webb or Sarah McCammon or... I mean, or just talk to one of most of the people that are in there. I'm sure you'll know who it is. But um, yeah, just just come in, talk, say you want to, you're interested, and you want to be a part of it. And, you know. Is there any events with the Special Olympics this Friday coming up? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, this I think it's this Saturday, the morning before prom is we will the 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 opening ceremony for Special Olympics will be at Hardy, and you can come and you know talk to Miss Webb if you need to bring anything or anything like that. I'm sure she'd love to have you there. All right. How can you join this club? Um, talk to Miss Webb or uh, Miss Birdsong or Coach Leonard. All right. Any recommendations for this club? Yes, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, there's so much. Uh, really, we kind of like a family now. You really, with those with the special athletes, I'm, I'm telling you, they, they love it when you're there. It's it's awesome. All right. Any shout outs to the school or same thing to the school? I want to say shout out to the. Uh, Project Unify, thank you for having me, and I'm glad it was a good year. Well, let's send things back to the news desk. Thanks, Danielle. Let's send things over to Hannah and Addie with Trending Topics. What is up, Stacey High School? Welcome back to Trending Topics. We have a lot to cover today, so let's hop to it. Coachella 2019 has been the biggest topic of discussion lately. Coachella always looks like dumb fun, but this year it looked especially awesome. A few of the weekend's headliners were Childish Gambino, Tame Impala, and Ariana Grande. Some of the lesser known guests were heat stroke, dehydration, and claustrophobia. When I say ye, you say ha, ye, ye, ha. You've got to be prepared for that when you're spending a weekend in the valley. Speaking of preparation, prom is this weekend. Talk about stressful. There's so much to get done. Tell me about it. it. Seems like the last few months of school are so busy. But at least once this weekend is over, there won't be anything to stress about. I guess. And this year's prom theme is the greatest show, man. And from the looks of it, it will be a great show. This is the show. Absolutely. I'm ready for prom to be done with. All my mom talks about is prom committee. Ditto. But a huge thank you to the junior parents who are pouring so much time into our Barnum and Bailey Circus. In international news, the Notre Dame tower tragically burned down last week. I was the biggest sad when I heard that. Hunchback of Notre Dame was one of my favorite movies growing up. A respectful sign up to all of the people saying it wrong, it's pronounced Notre Dame. Yes, thank you. Notre Dame is the fighting Irish. In happier news, several of the world's elite have banded together to raise funds to restore the tower. That's so awesome. I would hate to lose that piece of our world's history. Well, that's all that we have for you today, SHS. Don't forget to tweet us topic suggestions at Lion TV. See, See you next time. time. Thanks, girls. Let's send things over to Dakota Marsh with sports. Good morning, Special High School. My name is Dakota Marsh here to bring you your local and national sports updates. In local sports, the soccer team both have a game tonight against Perryville. Let's make sure to give them the best of luck for their games. So far, your Lady Lions have a record of 12 and 3, while your boys have 7 wins, 4 losses, and 3 draws. I've been in soccer officially really uh, 3 years. I, my first year was my sophomore year, and I did play a little bit when I was little, but I hated it. I mean, you can't, you know expect to make the team if you don't practice at all and you know there's tons of drills you can do by yourself it's I know it's a team sport but you can practice yourself both teams are getting prepared for senior night next Thursday against the Mountain Home Bombers your Cersei baseball team had a game last night against the Cabot Panthers unfortunately you do not have the results of that game just yet and your softball team has a game coming up this Monday against the BB Badgers so far your Lady Lions have a record of 5 and 16 with the NBA playoffs taking over, many teams are trying to prove that they have what it takes to be in the next round. 
such as the LA Clippers are holding tight to the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors lead the series by one game, with Game 6 being played tonight. Also, Portland Blazers' Damian Lillard hit a buzzer-beating shot to send them to the next round over the Oklahoma City Thunder. And in football news, Marshawn Lynch announces his final retirement. Also, Chris Johnson, once the fastest man in the NFL, signed a one-day contract for the Tennessee Titans to where he could retire with the team he was drafted by. Also, Big Ben Roethlisberger signed a two-year extension with the Steelers. And finally, Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Tyreek Hill received news that he will not be facing child abuse charges. Well, sir, that's all I have for today. Let's send it back to the news desk. Thanks, Dakota, for those rad tad sports updates. And that wraps up today's edition of Line TV. Don't forget, if you missed an episode of Line TV, you can go to www.cerseylinepress.com and click on the Watch Us Now logo. Also, check out the Brandon Mikowski's story on Line Press about how students plan on searching for colleges at the start of their senior year during the fall semester. Be sure and follow us on Twitter at Line TV and on Instagram and Facebook at Cersei High Line TV. Signing off, I'm Finney Castorina. And I'm Winnie Davis. Have a great weekend at prom, Cersei.